you're new here, I'm Sonia and I make videos about being a grad student and also uh, PhD vlogs. So today it's Tuesday, June 29th and I haven't vlogged in a while because I was visiting my family but now I'm back and we'll probably do another week weekly vlog. Sorry if there's lots of background noise but it's too hot to have the windows closed. Um, so today and yesterday I've been feeling pretty like unmotivated, I think partially because of the heat, but I just don't feel like working on anything. And luckily today I have a meeting in like 15 minutes with my supervisors. And usually after that, since they give me some sort of guidance and feedback on what I've already done, I will, I usually get excited to work afterwards. So hopefully that will happen today. Also, Ontario has been really good with the vaccine rollout, so I was able to get my second shot at like a pop-up clinic on Friday, and now I'm gonna have a double vac summer, which is exciting to me because A, I won't get severely sick, and B, I wanted to like just go on like a small vacation somewhere, and I feel comfortable if I have both vaccines. Otherwise, I wouldn't really want to do it. So today, I haven't updated my to-do list yet. I might do it after I talk to my advisors. We'll see. So I, I want to apply to this conference type thing next year in Banff um, for women in non-commutative geometry and algebra. And it's really hard. You have to write, you have to write why you're interested and why they should pick you in 100 words or less, which is really small. So I just tried to write everything in point form and I sent it to my advisors to get their opinion and they're like, told me I need to make it more interesting and it was really dry. And I was like, okay, but I have so little space to do it. And that's due tomorrow. So I think my other advisor will tell me today what they think and Hopefully I can send that off. I can rewrite it in a more fun way and then send it off. So I'm just gonna review what I've been working on since I last talked to them. So I'm prepared for the meeting and I'll check in with you guys after that. So my meeting ended and it was actually really quick, like 10 minutes. And I still don't really know what to work on. My advisor said he'll look at what I've done and see. And, and tell me like ooh, what we can maybe try doing um, but after he like plays around with it a little bit um, <laughs> I just got some like characteristic polynomial and then I got stuck and now I think all I will do is try to rewrite my application thing and then decide what math I will work on because I don't really know what to do it's already 11 a.m. I haven't really done, done much yet. That's how it be sometimes, especially in the summer, especially when it's hot. So I rewrote my application and tried to make it sound less boring <laughs> and more enthusiastic, but I'm still feeling like so lazy and not that creative. And I have a lot of greeting to do. And for that, it's just like tedious, but you don't have to use like that much of your brain power to do it because this is like first year calculus so I'm going to just do that until lunchtime and maybe that will get me more in the mood to work on some other stuff So I just did a 12 minute workout and this is what I look like now, like I'm dead. <laughs> um, today's just not really a productive math day, so 
I thought I would do this instead and I finished half of the grading I have to do. I might just finish the rest tonight and hopefully tomorrow I'll actually be able to think about stuff. Like sometimes your brain just like says, no, today I don't want to think about hard things, even like no matter how much you want me to. If you are able to, like if you don't have deadlines, sometimes it's just more productive to accept that. So <laughs> I don't know if anyone else feels the same, but I like these HIIT workouts. Like I like how they make you feel like exhausted because I don't know, somehow, somehow it expands like some like energy that goes towards being frustrated and I also feel happy when I'm able to do it, like proud of myself. Um, so I'll do some stretching now and grade in maybe math in the evening, but we'll see. Good morning. So today is the day where the public library is finally open and I'm gonna go study there in the afternoon after lunch. And I'm super excited. I've been like counting down to when I can study from somewhere that, that's not at home. So maybe that will make me more productive. Yesterday was pretty much a write-off, but at least I'm graded. Today I'll try to get back to back in the flow of things, at least for the day. And then tomorrow's a holiday and the principal of the school said Friday and Monday can be holidays too. Or should be if, if, if we want. Like, uh, we could still meet, but I think I'll take the holiday. So usually I'm pretty bad with this. Like, my advisors will say, hey, the principal said this day is a holiday, do you still want to meet? And I'll be like, yeah, I'll still meet, even though I, I don't want to, but I don't want to seem lazy. And this time I said, I'll let you know. So I didn't commit to it and I'm going to email them today and say, I'll take the day off. So yeah, now I've got to figure out what exactly to work on until lunchtime. <music> like the coffee was super weak like it was like super light brown as you saw um, but actually it tastes pretty good all I did was like make a french press coffee as you would usually but instead I just used tap water without boiling, boiling it and put it in the fridge for like two days and then put oat milk in it and it's pretty good I got the dates mixed up since Ontario goes into their like phase two today I thought that meant the library would open but it doesn't open until Friday so my library plans are cancelled so just gotta pretend my desk is the library for two more days. I think this whole week is gonna be like not getting that much done. I have a headache today probably because it's been like super hot for a few days and then today it's been kind of cold which is nice, but it's gonna like thunderstorm and go super hot again and like <laughs> My body can't handle that. So I thought of a way to prove something I'm trying to do and I'll try to do that for like two more hours and then see how I feel after that I took like a long lunch break <laughs> like two hours, but that's because I had to go grocery shopping and it was super busy since tomorrow's Canada Day um, by the way, for anyone who cares about the math, the like for the first part of this year, I was studying vial modules for like uh, the Lie Algebra SL2 over C, and just so I would get familiar with it and like prove some things that had to do with that, and then I would have those techniques written down on everything, and maybe that will help me in the future. And now I've moved on to the super algebras, so right now I'm working on. GL11 and we thought it would be similar to what happened in uh, SL2 but actually it might be a lot more interesting so 
that's pretty cool and uh, that's what I'm working on right now just seeing what the module looks like in this case uh, yeah that's like the super super high level but really to do those things you I don't know, you have to do like a whole bunch of calculations and stuff. Like to see how different elements act and uh, what are the eigen, what's the eigenspace decompos decomposition and things like that. So I'm gonna work on that now and drink my iced coffee. So it's been a couple of days and this study vlog has clearly derailed. I just couldn't focus this week and basically got nothing done. So I thought I would talk about what I'm trying to do and with and that is I'm preparing for the comprehensive exam, also known as the thesis prospectus exam. So basically what you do for this exam is you write a document and you prepare a 20 minute presentation. So that's like the prep work. And the point of this is to show what you want to work on and to see that it's feasible and that you're competent enough to do it. So usually what you put into this document and presentation is like your motivation, what you plan to do, maybe something you've already done, like I've I have a theorem I put in my document and how you plan on doing the rest that you haven't done so far. So basically to show them you've thought about your research project and you have like a plan of attack on how to do it. And if you write like a good report, one of the benefits of this other than being prepared to continue your work is you can just like take that thing you wrote and put it into your thesis as part of it without having to edit that much so that's kind of nice so what it says exactly in what should be included in your report is an introduction which describes your research area or gives important results that are either related to it or give context to what you're gonna do so for example i'm going to introduce chari's work on vial modules for affine algebras because that's kind of the motivation of what i'm doing and then you just give some further background material so i would just describe you know give like a bunch of background material on lee super super algebras and then you actually say what you're going to work on and why it's important like basically what question you're trying to answer for your thesis and then it says a description of the proposed methodology for solving the problem and justification as to why it will be successful so 
basically how you will solve the problem and why that will work, not just like, yeah, I'm gonna do this way and no backup as to why it would work. So you have to put more thought into it. And last one is any preliminary results obtained by the time of the exam. So as I said before, I have a theorem which I will put in this document and then if I finish, so my exam will be probably September and if I have any more results by then I'll put that in as well. So the actual exam is an oral exam where you give your 20 minute presentation and then your committee will ask you a whole bunch of questions and it usually lasts like two hours so that's kind of intense and I'm scared of that part. Like my master's defense was a little bit like that where it just questioned you and I don't do so well like that I'm under pressure. and having to do stuff orally so I have to study for this I think just study you know go over everything that might be related to my topic just in case they ask me some definition or a proof so that I'm not completely blanking my friend described it as like a boss in a video game like each person in the committee comes and asks you a bunch of questions and then the next one comes and ask you more questions and you just have to get through it and so to pass it you have to satisfy each of these points so is the research at the doctoral level in the quality and significance. Did you exhibit that you're able to carry out the research? And did you adequately present and defend the research and its underlying results and methodology and your results and conclusions? And is your actual report written professionally and satisfactorily? So that's basically what the comprehensive exam is. I guess it's sort of like a practice for your PhD thesis defense and it's mostly meant to keep you on track I think and make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do and that you're focused. I think one of the hard things about doing a PhD is sometimes your advisor will just give you like a whole bunch of different things. Oh this will be cool maybe work on that. Oh wait I read about this go work on this and then sometimes people end up being confused as to which one they should really focus on so this exam helps with that and at my school this is the last thing you need last like milestone I guess they have and after that all you you're basically ABD and you just work on your thesis for the next two years I forgot to mention you're supposed to do this exam by the end of your second year but I think it's okay if people do it later, like some people have done it in, during their third year and it's been fine. So it's Saturday morning and all I plan to do today is just edit this vlog. I think I'll start trying to do real work on Monday and I'll try to make like an actual study vlog where I do stuff and not just try to work and fail. So I'll see you next time. Bye.